In the 17th century, scientists began using the term atmosphere, derived from the Latin word atmos, meaning vapor, and sapphira, meaning sphere, so essentially a sphere of vapors. This atmosphere is everywhere around us in the form of fog, dust, haze, smoke, mist, snow, and much more. But why are we talking about this? It's not about how clean and pristine your renders are, but rather how dirty you can make it while maintaining its quality. If you want to truly depict the real world, you have to show the atmospheric elements in this scene because they exist in the real world. So you have to show the floating dust particles, the haze of the pollution, the early morning or post-apocalyptic fog, flying through the clouds, the mist, rain, etc. These atmospheric effects play a vital role in tying everything together. They hide the imperfections in the individual elements and serve as kind of a digital glue to piece everything as one. Dust particles floating in the air a subtle haze engulfing the building, and the soft glow of street lights piercing through the fog. Suddenly, the entire scene becomes cohesive. By incorporating atmospheric effects, you create a sense of uniformity and realism. The world you're portraying feels lived in and authentic. Let's talk about some commonly used atmospheric elements now. Number one, dust. Dust can add a touch of realism and create a sense of depth. Think about a sunlit room where the particles are gently streaming through the air, some in focus, some out of focus. It adds a magical quality, making the scenes come alive with this sense of micro-movement. Number two, haze and fog. Haze and fog practically transform the entire mood of the scene. They add an ethereal quality, obscuring the distant objects and creating a sense of mystery and depth. Whether it's a misty forest or a foggy cityscape, these effects can transport viewers into another world, leaves them wondering what is beyond that curtain of fog. Rain is another atmospheric element that can fill your scene with a palpable feeling of mystery. And all of these effects can of course be combined in different layers to give further depth to the scene. But atmospheric elements are not limited to these alone. Wind, for instance, can bring dynamic motion to your renders. Any sense of environmental movement incorporates a dynamic feel to the scene and makes it more alive. Imagine rustling grass in a forest, dancing in the air. Which actually brings me to our next effect, falling leaves. I personally absolutely love the feeling of falling leaves. In the game Ghost of Tsushima, the addition of falling leaves adds so much to the experience that you can almost smell the environment. It adds life, energy and so much to your environment. There's a free windy leaf system made in geometry nodes that I find myself using a lot. I will link it down below and if you want to check it, you can check it out. By default it has falling leaves which you can control the parameters of like wind, direction, size, spread. You can also replace the leaves with small spheres to mimic dust. It's very light on the system and you should definitely check it out. Unusual elements can also serve as 3D glue in your renders. For example, Instead of having a flat ground plane in our scene, we have a ground hemisphere. So it becomes the iconic element that binds everything together. It's fascinating how these seemingly unconventional choices can have a powerful impact on the overall cohesiveness and storytelling of your renders. So next time you embark on making a 3D scene, remember that atmospheric elements are your secret weapon. Embrace the dirt, the grain, the imperfections. Let them become the threads that weave your scene together. All to create a world that is immersive, captivating, realistic. That is it for this chapter. I will see you soon in the next one. Farewell.